and welcome to Cupcake Addiction's Giant Cupcake Graduation Hat Tutorial where I'll be showing you how to make this fantastic graduation hat cake out of your giant cupcake mould. Tools and equipment that we will be using today, I have a couple of boards. Now I've iced both of my boards, I'm using a 11 inch round, so an 11 or a 12 inch round will be fine for this, and I'm using an 8 inch square. If you're not sure how to ice your boards, I will leave a link to our tutorial for icing the boards in fondant in the description box below. With my 8 inch square, I've also used a black ribbon around the edges, so we can't see any of that silver board coming through, and I've gone with red for my baseboard because those are going to be the school colours. So you you can change this theme to match your graduation school colours. I've got my congratulations on your graduation scroll printable. That one is available for download and I will leave a link to that in the description box below. And it also comes with your little graduation scroll cake pop labels if you'd like to have a look at our cake pop tutorial for some matching cake pops to this great cake. I've got two knives, I've got some red fondant and some black fondant, a little bit of melted dark chocolate. And of course I've got my giant cupcake. Now with the giant cupcake I haven't made the entire cupcake. I've only made the bottom half, so not the pointy top, just our bottom half. Before I started that cupcake I made a black chocolate cupcake case. So if you haven't been following us through our giant cupcake basics and the how to make a giant cupcake case tutorials, I will leave links to all of those in the description box below. The black cupcake case, I made an outer layer, so my very first layer was made using Wilton Black Candy Melts. And the inner layer, because I always like to give those two good layers, is just dark chocolate, which saves a little bit of money on those candy melts because they're not cheap. I've layered my cake inside as per our giant cupcake basics layering and stacking, and I've used chocolate ganache because it's the same sort of dark colour as our nice dark patty pan or cupcake case, so if any of it comes out or, or you can see it poking around the edges, it's not going to be as not noticeable as a white buttercream frosting. So the first thing that we want to do today is we're going to take, this is our presentation board. So I've dressed my cupcake on a different board so that I'm not going to make a mess out of the presentation board. And I know that my scroll is going to go across the board like that. So I want to position my cupcake just back here on the board. So we'll move that scroll away so that it doesn't get dirty at all. And I'm going to take some of this melted dark chocolate. Now the melted dark chocolate, I just want to take my knife and I'm just going to pop a little dollop of it back here on the board about where I think I want that cake to go. So just sort of spread it out a little bit. I've got ganache on that giant cupcake so it's not going to matter too much. But what we want to do is just lift the board up and so that I can make sure that everyone can see what I'm doing, move him forward, lifting the board up and turning this presentation board upside down. You want to position your chocolate blob right on top of that cake and then holding both of them together, flip it. Now you should have your giant cupcake positioned nicely on your presentation board and you can get rid of that other board that we've been using temporarily. At this stage you should have something that looks like this. Now if you're not going to use that graduation scroll, obviously yours would be in the middle. What we want to do from here, you'll see I've got a little bit of a gap around the bottom. Now I will also mention, you'll have a couple of lines in the side of your giant patty pan or your giant cupcake case from that silicone mold. So make sure that they're at the back of your cake and not at the front. We want to disguise this little gap that we've got going on underneath that cupcake. So we're going to take some of that black fondant and just roll a bit of a sausage. So I'm actually going to roll the sausage back here on the, the glass top because I do want a little bit of a stick. You don't want any corn flour or anything down for this or else it won't stick quite as well to the bench. Too much corn flour and it sort of slides around. And I'm actually going to roll that quite thick. So I'm just looking at the gap that I've got in between the, the rim of my giant cupcake and the board and I want to make sure that I completely cover that. All right, now taking your knife, just cut off the two ends. Your ends will always be quite thick on the sausage. And I always want to make sure that my sausage seam is going to meet up around the back of my cake. So whenever you're making a cake, make sure that you always know where the back is. And I'm just going to rest that around like so. You can use a little bit of water to stick that down if you like. I'm not going to today. So I know that I'm going to push it in. So I've just cut the back and you can see it's all sitting there quite sort of loose. So now just take your finger and just 
push it into those gaps. So you really want to sort of, you want to go with those little grooves of the giant chocolate patty pan or cupcake case. And you'll see it's actually stretching out a little bit. So start at one side, go all the way around and you'll cut off a little bit more as you get to the back. This is one of the reasons that I didn't bother using water here because I didn't want to stick it and then have it move a little bit as I was repositioning that black sausage. All right, taking your knife, just cut it off and there we go. So that's just neatened up the base of our giant cupcake or our graduation cap base. And you can take that fondant, put it back in the Ziploc bag so that it doesn't dry out. Now, we're going to attach the graduation hat top or the board. So you're going to take that melted chocolate again and the knife and just, you don't need too much here, so just a little bit of a, a glob of melted chocolate and take your board. Now with my board I've got my little spot where my ribbon has met up, so I want that at the back and I'm going to position it sort of on a bit of an angle like so. So you can see how it's going on there and I'm just going to sit it down on top of that bit of chocolate and we'll put that off to the side to let it set and then I'll tilt it up so that you can see what's going on there. Now while that's all happening we're going to get rolling our red tassels to match our red board in our school colours. So for your tassels you're just going to take that red fondant and I actually rolled mine into a sausage again but I rolled it quite thick. So once again I'm going to do that on my black bench back here. So there's our nice fat sausage all rolled. So taking that knife again, I kind of like the fact that it comes up to a little bit of a thinner point on this end. So I'm gonna cut it off, that's way too long for what we want. And I'm just going to pop it on and just sort of measure it out. So in the center of my board, I want that to fall to about here. So it's almost touching the board, but not quite. So just cut it off when you're happy with the length. And then we're going to just push out just the last sort of inch or two inches. Just push it out on your board with your finger so that it's kind of flat. And also with the very, very top here, just push that down so it's a little bit flat. That's just going to give us something to adhere it all to, or adhere the chocolate to. All right, now taking your knife, we're just going to make some tassels at the very bottom here. So just cutting. See there, some of them I'm splitting in two again at the bottom, so I've gone one tassel in the Sort of one tassel coming down and then each tassel I've split in half again at the end. And that'll just make them look nice and full. Now just taking your fingers, you just want to sort of round each of those little tassels off. So I'm really just going to kind of just mould them a little bit. Alright, so when you pick that up, you've got there your little sort of tasseled end as you can see. So I've sort of got five main tassels and then it splits into ten down the bottom just to make them look a little bit more, I guess a little bit thicker and a little bit more full. So just checking my height there again. Alright, now because I've squashed out those tassels a little bit, we've gotten a little bit of extra length. So just putting it back on my board, I just want to chop a little bit more off the end. Round that off and flatten it down. Now, so that you can see what's going on with our giant cupcake at this stage, to give you a nice sort of a, a front view, that's what you're looking at. So you can see there, it's really looking like our graduation hat. Now this is still the front of my board, this is going to be the centre, and I want my tassels to come just over the front. So a little bit more of our melted chocolate glue, and I'm just going to dab that into the centre of the board. Make sure not to drip it anywhere because you don't want to mess up your beautiful blackboard at this point. And rest your little tassels on top, drape them over the edge. Now I also like to put just a tiny, tiny bit of that melted chocolate just at this edge here so that it doesn't move around. So once it's positioned and you're happy with how it's positioned, just another little tiny, tiny dollop of melted chocolate just wherever it's going to sit on the board. Now you want to leave that until it completely sets and then we'll come back and we'll just neaten off that top a little bit. 
Okay, so I'm happy that my dark chocolate's pretty well dry enough to hold everything together. So I'm just going to take that black fondant one more time and we're just going to roll, I promise, the last sausage for this tutorial. Doesn't even have to be an exact sausage. So I'm just gonna roll it into a quick ball to make sure it's nice and, nice and seamless and nice and neat. And I'm just going to roll it in my palms. You can see there, just a nice, quick, easy sausage. And just sort of get, you just wanna make sure that it's gonna go all the way around. So we want a nice flat edge on either edge. Go about there, but we might need to cut a tiny bit more off. No, that looks like it'll be perfect. All right, so I'm just going to pinch one edge down and the other edge down, and that's just going to help it meet up with our little red tassels. And I'm just going to sit that on top. I'm not too worried about it sticking or not sticking. It's on top of the board, it's not going to be going anywhere. So if you're worried, you can use a little bit of water or a little bit of melted chocolate. And that will just finish off the top of our hat quite nicely. So here you can see you've got a really nice graduation hat, giant cupcake. And I will put up some great still shots of that. It's not the best camera angle. So to finish that one off, I'm going to add in our graduation scroll. As I mentioned, if you do want this one, we're going to have congratulations on your graduation option and also just a happy graduation option. And you can download those by following the link below. And I just want to make sure that that's pretty well centered on my board. So make sure that you're not looking at the top of your hat for centering, you're looking at the actual overall giant cupcake. So I think mine's going to look best about here. And I'm just going to stick that one down. Now I actually printed mine out on a sticky label. So you can either use a sticky label if you've got them, otherwise it's the board, it's not going to be eaten. You can use a little bit of just a craft glue or double-sided tape or whatever you like, even a little bit of, probably not water, but yeah, any sort of a craft glue will stick that down. So there you have your really cool and really easy graduation hat giant cupcake. That's gonna feed about 10 people and when you do want to serve that one, you just wanna take a knife, you want to slip it in between the board and the top of the giant cupcake and just twist it. That board's going to pop off and you're going to be able to cut that just the same as we show you how to cut it in our how to cut and serve a giant cupcake tutorial. I hope that you've loved this tutorial as much as I've enjoyed making it for you. Do make sure that you check out our Graduation Hat Cake Pops, the perfect partner for this great cake. And as always, thank you very much for watching.